What's good? I'm professional shooting coach Colin Castello with Shop Mechanics Basketball, and today I'm going to give you three jump shot hacks that will instantly help you increase your shooting percentage. Let's go! Okay, shooting the basketball is quickly becoming one of the most important skills you can have out on the court because it stretches the defense, gives your teammates a lot of extra opportunities, and makes it a lot easier to score on offense. So today what I wanted to do is give you three super simple jump shot hacks that even if you implement just one of them, can instantly increase your shooting percentage. But before I jump into it, click the top link in the description down below or the first link in the comments down below and get a free copy of my quick draw shooting workout. This is a shooting workout that I put specifically together for you guys on here to really help your shot speed and your shot accuracy. because those are kind of the two things that we see a lot of players struggle with. So click the top link down below and get instant access today. Now, the very first tip we're going to talk about is something called an elbow tap. Now, if you've been watching our videos for a while, you might have heard me talk about this before, but it's actually one of the most important and kind of quick fixes I can do for a lot of players' jump shots. And it's super, super simple. It's basically just the idea that every time you're getting ready to shoot, you're going to take your shooting elbow. So since I'm a righty, I'm going to take my right elbow and I'm just going to quickly tap my right hip. I'm just going to tap my right hip. So no matter where I catch the ball at, I'm going to tap it down. Now there's a couple reasons why this helps so much with a lot of players. Reason number one is it corrects the shot line most of the time. So a lot of players have a problem with either coming up the offside of their body or the outside of their body. So by tapping this hip, it automatically pulls the ball back over so everything's gonna travel in a straight line. I personally, if I go in a little bit of a shooting slump, this is the first tip I always come back to. I tap my hip, pull the ball over, goes just like that. Because if we can keep the ball in a straight line, if you can eliminate those left to right misses, all of a sudden you're instantly gonna increase your shooting percentage. All right, so a hip tap is phenomenal for getting that alignment and keeping the ball straight. But next, let's talk about power and what I call a thigh tap. So basically, it's the exact same concept where we're quickly tapping part of our body, but this time we're gonna tap our thigh with the basketball. So if I'm getting ready to shoot, I'm gonna load the basketball down, and as my hips go down, ball goes down, I'm gonna tap my thigh just above my knee right here. So I'm gonna tap my thigh and then move up. Now the reason why we want to do this is a lot of times that helps get the ball loaded a little bit lower. A massive mistake that a ton of players make is when they get ready to shoot, they set the ball on the shelf up here by their shoulder and then they have to catapult it up towards the basket. Right? What you'll notice is most players are a lot better if they can load the basketball lower and then the ball and their hips can move at the same time going towards the basket and they can really get that big time fluidity, big time momentum in their jump shot and instantly increase their shooting range three, four, five, six feet. Right? If you watch the best shooters in the league, the guys that can shoot from so far out like Steph Curry and Damian Lillard, pretty much all of them load the ball down by their waist or lower. So this is a way to kind of force accountability, quick tap on your thigh and quick up into your shot. If you can do that, you're gonna increase your range and keep more momentum and fluidity in your jump shot. All right, so so far we've got a tip for alignment with our hip tap, we've got a tip for power with our thigh tap, and now I'm gonna give you a tip to really get that extra pop in your jump shot, to really get that lightning quick release. And this is what we call a toe pop, meaning that anytime you're getting ready to shoot, you wanna think about your footwork and keep your heels off of the ground. So I always tell players to think about, pretend like the ground's hot lava and you've got to pop the balls of your feet into the ground, keeping your heels up with that toe pop, right? If you can pretend like you're popping your toes off of the ground, that's actually going to generate a lot more momentum in your shot and a lot more momentum gives you a lot of benefits, right? Benefit number one, it's going to be a lot faster of a shot. If we see a lot of players and they have, you know, slow shots and they have a hard time getting shots up in game, a lot of times it's because they have kind of this slow windup where their heels are striking the ground and then they're winding up into their jump shot, right? But if you can pop the ground with the balls of your feet, you're going to be that much faster, that much quicker and generate that much more momentum into your jump shot. Now, a quick caveat with all three of these tips is you can pair a couple of them together, right? Sometimes you might do a thigh tap and a hip tap. You might do a toe pop and a hip tap. It really just depends on you as the shooter, what's going to work best for you and what's going to get best results. Now, if you do all three of them at a time, it might be a little much. I'd start with one, then once you feel comfortable, move to two, then once you feel comfortable, you could try all three if you'd like. All right, and don't forget, if you really want to turbocharge your shooting speed and your shooting accuracy, click the top link in the description down below or the top link in the comments to get free access to my quick draw shooting workout. It's the perfect workout to make sure that your jumper is on ice every single time you enter the gym. And if you're new to Shop Mechanics, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, come back because we're going to put out four videos every single week to really make sure we're giving you as much basketball information to get you better. Again, I'm Coach Colin Castell with Shop Mechanics Basketball. Thanks for watching. Until next time, splash on.